Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. So it's down to business here. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I'm going to go for Antonio Candreva because he brings a dynamism to proceedings, fast and direct. He'll engage his fullback in a sprint or two and he can whip in pacey crosses. Not the kind to stand off and allow him to shoot either because he can whack it with the very best. Okay, interesting. Yoshida to play it forward. Pedrado gets it back. Alexandro. It's Dybala. Whipped in. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, he certainly got to the ball well enough, but the rest didn't quite come off for him. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, Yorella really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Dybala. He's looked long this time. Cleared away. Bentancur. It's on a real chance! The defence can get it clear. Just to point out, Peter, that the full-backs are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Chiesa. Oh, the ball's come loose. Looks to thread it through. Hector. Tonelli. Hector. Yoshida. And it's Keita. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. He's got away. Gets wrestled off the ball. He's gone for goal. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Bentancur tried to play it through. Ah, uh, it was too timid. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. <laughs> e 
Hector. Forward it goes. He's made sure that that won't get through. Bentancur. Dybala. That's a foul. Free kick's been given. Quick pull forward. The referee brings the first half to a close. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first half? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's, there's much to criticise. They've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. So we're already into the second period. Juventus can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Has he found his man? Well positioned to make that interception. Locatelli. Out to the right. Chiesa pumps it into the area. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach and it may just freshen things up. Out to the left it goes. He gets past his man. Has a pop! Quadrado gets rid without sophistication. More than happy to take the muscular approach. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. He's gone for it! Away from immediate danger. So here comes a substitution. Locatelli, chance! Oh, he's taken out, that'll be a foul. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Just brushed off the ball there. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Pagliorella, Locatelli, and it's Keita. Pagliorello concedes a free kick for that. Pagliorello gets his final warning. Bentancur is there to heave it away. Gets the better of his man. Great challenge, time to perfection. And the counter is on. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And that's been won straight back. Hoists it forward. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. It's Morata! Well, 
Ah, oh, stitch defending, but that'll do. Now it's Tepala. Tepala. That's good defending, very good defending. Petreva. Juventus showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Bentancur. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. Battles to win it back. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Looking for space out wide. Kandreva. Played in by... Great leap! And that was the final act of the game. A nearly game until the very end. And it finishes nil-nil. Uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side.